What's going on you guys? It's Kevin back here with a brand new packaging video. Today we're going to be packaging two sales. I think they're pretty good sales and pretty big sales. So yeah, we're going to package that. I'm going to tell you guys the profit and when I picked up the shoe, hopefully if I remember. Anybody, anybody that's new here, my name is Kevin. I'm a full-time reseller and I make packaging, sourcing, as well as best flip of the month videos. So if you're interested in any of that type of content, please make sure to go ahead and like as well as subscribe. It really helps with the channel and it helps me way more than you know. So let's go ahead and uh, start packaging these items. All right, you guys, we sold some Under Armour cleats here, $49, and we paid five bucks for them. Uh, there's just so many here, but we sold a size eight, a size 10, sorry, right here. Perfect. Uh, this box is in the way, but yeah, we had these football cleats for like freak, man. I don't know how long, too long, probably close to almost a year, around 10 or 11 months, but we finally sold them. And those were discounted at Ross last summer, I believe, because I was just picking them up. Yeah, we, we got a whole bunch, but, you know, we're selling them slowly. And um, I have no complaints about these selling or taking so long to sell, honestly. It's just what happens sometimes when you pick up bad stuff or uh, pick up, you know, cheap enough stuff that you'll wait however long to sell it for uh, we're probably going to make a modified box here so we're going to get this and put these off to the side put that down put more down there we go hopefully these fit in here which i'm sure they will but there's always you know possibility that they're a little too long i mean they are looking a little long but let's just see Gonna go ahead and tape this up. Yeah, these barely fit in here, man. You gotta kind of squish them. Oh my goodness. There we go. We just had to fold down a certain side. And I know these are going to cost a lot to ship out because they're going to California. So we can wrap these up and ship them via pirate shipping maybe a little better. Three pounds. So let's see how much it costs to ship them. Alright you guys. So it was going to cost $16 to ship those via eBay to California. Which I was not going to go for. So we went with the pirate ship option for $10.31. Uh, we sold these for $49. Paid $5.40 for them. Shipping was $10.31. Feed were $7.92 and the profit on them is $25.37, which is pretty good. <clears throat> but we did have them for too long. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and um, print this label out. Thank you, Felix from California. Get this label printed. Yes, sir. Bruh. What the? The next day. All right, you guys. So the first sale, we're going to be quote-unquote packaging up. Like I said, it's already packaged up. Uh, we got this from Nike.com. These dunk clothes, barely greens. They're freaking nice as heck, man. Not gonna lie. They really are nice. Um, these are women's shoes. I got these in a size 8. Women's. And, um, yeah, we. this was our first sneakers W ever. So we got it out the door in, like, less than a week or something. Or about a week. Because I forgot to list it on GOAT. But we sold them for $176. We paid $108 for them. That's with tax included at the SNC, size six and a half men's, woman size eight, retail 100. Uh, Go took its fee of $21.72, and we uh, walk away with a profit of $46.28, which I'll take any day for a fast flip like this. Let's get some roller action going. Yes, sir, that's beautiful. Now, on to the next sale. We sold these. Under Armour, I mean, it's Under Armour. These Converse Pagal Barely Volt. Um, you guys see this little thunderstorm or whatever, the design on them. Pretty cool, not gonna lie, and the extra laces. Look at that bottom, that's just beautiful. It looks like a gummy. We paid 25 bucks for these, 27 with tax at Ross. And these, I picked them up in December um, in 2020. So, we sold them for $105 on GOAT. Gonna go ahead and bubble wrap this bad boy. And yeah, these are really sick shoes. I knew that I was going to be able to get a pretty good amount for them because of, you know, just the way they look. And 
it was a Converse collab that was listed pretty high on eBay. I didn't even check the GOAT comps or anything like that. But yeah, we got some pretty cool little sales here going out. Throw them in there. I don't even think that box is necessary. Here we got a smaller box. That hopefully these are gonna fit in. Yeah, perfect fit. Before we close, we gotta get the goat slip. Can't get caught lacking again. Well, first I wanna make I wanna tell you guys how much we made on these. So like I said, we sold them from 105, paid $27 for them. Uh, we didn't pay for the shipping or anything. Fees on gold were $14.98. And we walk away with a profit of $63.02, which is wonderful. Now let's go ahead and get this Rollo action. Yes, sir. Beautiful. So we just threw the slip in there. We're just going to close this up. There we go, like a hundred bucks in profit right there in those two shoes this is great. Two days later. All right, you guys. So today we got a couple of sales going off on the weekend. We you sold some Nikes right here, these Pegasus Turbos, or just Pegasus Zoom Pegasus 35s for a hundred bucks. Neat looking shoes. These were size seven, and we also sold some these golf shoes right here, size six Y. So. I'm gonna put the golf shoes right here and then get these packaged up. These size seven. No Ross tag. But we paid like 45 for these plus tag. We sold them for a hundred bucks on eBay, which is pretty good. <clears throat> we just need some bubble wrap. The shoe box to get them inside of. Yeah, it was a pretty slow weekend. I got some sales from StockX and a goat. So that's pretty good, but you guys saw probably in the previous clips from this that they were pretty good sales. But other than this, this is like, these are the only two sales I got in the weekend. I got a sale on Poshmark, but it got canceled, unfortunately. So, that was a pretty good sale too, in my opinion. So, not much we can do there, but we're just going to throw these in here. Probably throw in some filler paper. What the heck? And call it a date. So you guys, we picked these shoes up in February of 2021. We sold them for $100 on eBay. Paid $48.60 for them at Ross. No fees on eBay. And uh, shipping was $8.59. And we make a profit of $42.81, which is great. Almost 100% ROI. Thank you, Sandra from Texas. Now let's get this roller action going. <laughs> Label came out a little crooked, but that's okay. The next shoes that we got going out, these Roshi G Golf shoes that we picked up at Marshall's. So we picked up these bad boys at Marshall's for $17.36. And we sold them on eBay for $55, which is pretty good. So now we just got to find a box for this to go inside of. It's going to fit. Let me see if I have another box this over here. I'm pretty sure this is going to fit in a modified box. First, let's check it. Geez, that was a workout. I just had to move a whole bunch of boxes, but I think we got our box here. Let's check. And it's not even going to fit, bro. So we got to use the 1095 box. I keep uh, saying that the 10, like the smaller ones of the 1095 are like the 1094s or 6s, but it's actually the 1097 box. So if I ever confuse anybody, the smaller one of the 1095 is the 1097. And I'm also saying that to myself because I often forget. That's laid out. So now we just gotta tape this up. And throw this in here with the shoes. I mean, it's a pretty perfect fit. It's just on the side, it's a little bit off. So we're just gonna throw some paper in there. So it doesn't move around too much. I'm 
And there we go. Now we gotta wait and see how much it costs to ship. So you guys, we sold those shoes for $55. Paid $18.36 for them at Marshalls. Shipping was $8.59. Fees were $7.52. And the profit on them is $20.53, which is pretty good. Those took around two months to sell. Thank you, Sarah from New York. Let's get this Rollo action. Rollo label's coming out a little dumb, but it is what it is. That's going to conclude this packing video, you guys. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and like, as well as subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And go ahead and comment down below what you think of the sales. I really appreciate you for watching to the very end. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in my next video.